Now that we are in the midst, we're right in the middle of the Radiant City vision, I think people are really excited because they're seeing the vision actually beginning to take shape. It's more than just a pamphlet and a dream of this is what we're gonna do. We're actually beginning to see it take form right in front of our eyes. And ultimately, we had over $7 million committed to the Radiant City Vision. Now, of the $7 million, that's actually increased to $7.4 million. And of that, $4.6 million have already been given. So over 50% of what we've asked for has already been given uh, to see the Radiant City Vision come to pass. Another really neat aspect to see of Radiant City Vision is uncommitted giving uh, has approached $330,000. So these are people that did not fill out commitment cards that are getting on board mid-year uh, to give to Radiant City Vision. Part of the Radiant City Vision was what we called campus optimization. And so Richland uh, was in dire need of carpet, especially in the sanctuary. So that was kind of, uh, number one on our list and it looks beautiful. Uh, we also took down some of the uh, booths that we had our audio visual equipment in. We're also in the middle of working with a company who's gonna do massive renovation to our kids area. For the kids ministry specifically, we are actually partnering with other organizations that are coming in and doing site visits and we're dreaming about what the future of kids ministry is generationally as we look at what's happening in our culture, but also what's happening in Radiant Church and blending those things and seeing God inside of that vision. So the Radiant City vision is also, you know, really built on creating these multi-site expressions. So we already have some campuses that receive past release teaching via video. This broadcast suite allows us to be able to create and craft a unique experience that's tailored just for those campuses as well. Those campuses need a different experience than what our online campus might be seeing or what the broadcast campus is actually seeing as well. And so we're able to meet these unique campuses in a very focused and intentional way. The downtown Radiant City Center is alive, it's active, it's kind of like a, a beehive of activity. Students coming in, students going out. Uh, adding a second year to Radiant School of Ministry. The prayer room morning, noon, and night is filled with worshipers and people praying and interceding. Uh, our staff is down here. Matchhead is coming online here very quickly. The building's beginning to look and feel like the beating heart of Radiant Church and the Radiant City Vision. We are building our front door, almost like the porch into this home of what God's doing, and that's Matchhead, our coffee shop. So right now, Construction is on time, believe it or not. And we're looking at a fall launch, hopefully November. We have a team, we have the vision, and now equipment is coming in, staff are being trained, and then we're figuring out ways to engage the community. As much as construction and more building projects are taking place, this space, this building is happening right now. It's up, it's running, it's fulfilling the vision of making Radiant Disciples here in our city. It was like the end of last summer and I was looking around and the world just looked like it was kind of going crazy. And um, I was in my prayer room and I really sensed the Lord say, take your boys to the city center to pray. And so I didn't know what the city center was yet. I thought maybe there was a community group meeting to pray at the maybe city council meeting. So I just looked up on Google city center prayer and it was Radiant City Center. I have four boys and we decided that we're gonna go to the city center and pray. The music starts and I just sense peace. The world did not feel peaceful at the time and it was just like this blanket of peace and I was like, okay, Lord, we're here, now what? So I heard in my heart, your children are taught by the Lord, right? And I said, well, yeah, your, your word says, my children are taught by the Lord and great shall be their peace. And he said, repeat that back to me. And so I'm sitting and I'm just worshiping the Lord. And I said, Lord, my children are taught by you. I trust you to teach them today. Teach them what to do and fill them up with peace. And so I just started worshiping and music started and I just started worshiping and honestly just got caught up in worship. And it was beautiful, it was wonderful. And I'm having a wonderful time, but about halfway through, I open my eyes and I look over and my 
14 year old sons, one has tears coming down his cheeks, the other has his hands up and they're being taught by the Lord. They're entering in, they're being aware of his presence, but I hadn't seen that a lot. And then I look over and my 10 year old and my eight year old have their hands up and they're worshiping and my heart's just captured and their heart's being captured. And it was just, I, I have no control over that but he moved upon them through the people leading them into his presence here. And it's just been beautiful, life-changing. We've done well up until now. Let's stay the course. Let's finish what God has called us to do. Let's finish downtown and let's set our eyes on new horizons of new places that God has calling us to go, new communities, new cities in our region, because we're not just building a Radiant City vision as a brand. We really wanna see our region and our city radiate with the love of God to the glory of God.